we put topical right over here. Uh huh. And then okay. we go in. You'd either load lidocaine or septicaine. Uh huh. All right. But in my case, in this case, we're not going to pass it by such, and she would take it, and then she would do the injection. Whenever the high speed hand piece is being used, it's water. So you always want to have your high volume suction. And she's on the lower right, so you're going to place your suction right beside the tooth. You don't want to press too hard on their tongue because a lot of people have a gag reflex. Is the red sauce or red sauce? Not everything is still over there. Okay. Can you use the mirror and explore? Absolutely. Here's your mirror. Okay. And use your explorer. When you're handing off the instrument, you want to make sure that it's pointing in the direction she's going to use it. And you want to make sure you're holding it at the tip so she has all this space to grab the instrument. And I'm not having to turn. I just take it straight from you and I go right into the mouth. Straight into the mouth. So since we're gonna fill it up, we're gonna start with the matrix here. And I'm gonna hand her the cotton plier so she can pick it up. And then you'll have your wedge ready to go. So once she's done placing it, she can grab her wedge. And then you wanna pick up the ring and you'll wanna pick up the forceps. I'll take that and you'll hand off the forceps and the ring. And then she's going to dry the tooth really good. And while she's drying, you'll be pre preparing your bond to go into the tooth. Okay. The side mouth doesn't open at all. And she's going to bond the tooth. And then with the bond, you cure it for 10 seconds. And I like to take it just at 20 seconds, but it'll be a minute. And then that's when we're going to cure it for 10 seconds. So in the midst of her blowing the air, I'm already ready for the next step after the curing, which is the flowable that she's going to add into the um, filling. And the hand needs to be in the exact way I put it in the mouth. So I'm not having to maneuver or change anything around at that point. And the composite's behind me too. Now in our case, the composite is on the doctor's side and a lot of offices, uh, the assistant would grab that from their own side. So I handed her the condenser first because she wants to pack that composite down into the um, the cap, the not the cavity, into the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The no, that's into the cavity, You're right? Into the cavity. <laughs> and now I'll hand her the ball so that she, so that she can shape it up really good. There you go. And then thank you. Sometimes I'll turn it slower, but in this case I'm fine. Go ahead, you can do your final. Now, the bonding is 10 seconds. Composite is always going to be 20 seconds. So now I'm down to 10 seconds left on my bonding. So I always tend to move my curing light so that now I can grab what I need next, which is the forcep for the doctor. So now we go in the exact opposite order. The exact. Order. Took the forcep off, we're taking the wedge off, and now she is going to remove that matrix strip. And okay. yeah, and then we'll do a three point cure. Okay. And you'll do this 20 seconds on the buckle, 20 seconds on the wingle, and 20 on the occlusal. Just have it ready. 
So she's going to adjust the bite so if she has a hand piece again, you need the high volume suction again. Well, that's important. Anytime you see the doctor pick up the, um, the high feed hand piece, your hand goes straight to that suction. Otherwise, the patient will be drowning in the water. Okay, let's check the bite. We're gonna check your bite. I want you to tap, tap for me. So your patient will tap their teeth together. You always wanna make sure they're biting on their back teeth, their normal bite. And they'll tap the teeth and then the doctor will check the bite to see if there's anything. You your suction. I got my eye teeth. You can do that as many times as necessary. So you need to do that at least And then we're gonna minutes. floss it. Yeah. Anything in a proximal, you always wanna check the contact. That is not real long. Good contact. Beautiful.